Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be another random ass testing of some products video. I actually just really love testing random shit. These are honestly some of my more favorite videos to film because it's just fun to test random ass shit out. Like I just really enjoy it. Like a lot. I was actually in CVS and I was just kind of like biding my time because I had an appointment to get some Oh my god, I had an appointment to get some filler in my face. I have a bruise right there from it. Because mommy's looking a little tired. People are always like, oh my god, man, you look so tired. And I'm like, because I am. <laughs> so I got a little bit of filler underneath my eyes. Whatever, I'm still swollen. But I was at CVS just kind of passing time because I was early to my appointment. And I was passing by the ass scene on TV aisle. And I'm like, hmm. Those aisles for some reason just kind of like really like pull me in to see these like random ass little products. Like, do they work or do they not? I just really enjoy the ass scene on TV shit. So I was passing by and I saw this. And this is Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander. This is like a mineral makeup that is supposed to be magical on the face. It's supposed to conceal and cover blemishes, age spots, fine lines, and uneven skin tone. It's supposed to do a lot of things. It's supposed to do a lot of things. So we'll see if this shit actually works. It's like open and see what it looks like. It's like a little thing. There's like these little magical crystals inside, I guess. Are these, is this the magic part? I have no idea. Magic. So that's what today's video is going to be. I'm just going to be testing out this Magic Minerals product, As Seen on TV. I've never actually seen the commercial on TV. It was just in the aisle, and it says As Seen on TV at the top. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny MUA, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Let's go and get into this testing of this Magic <laughs> Bitch up. Okay, let's just see what it claims. Let's look at the claims. Let's look at the fucking claims. Helps cover and conceal pimples, blemishes, scars, birthmark. You are a fucking liar. Helps cover and conceal pimples, blemishes, scars, and birthmarks. That just... Okay. Okay, guys. You know what? No, hold on. Manny, get into the zone. You are not going to be skeptical of this product. You are going to review it, and you are going to be open-minded. You're not going to be a bitch. You're not going to be hard on it. You're just going to be open and willing as if this is a bare minerals powder. It's claiming to conceal and cover pimples, blemishes, scars, and birthmarks. Very interesting. <laughs> Micronized mineral powder, talc free, comes with a little brush to apply with. Cool. So apparently it's unique built-in color correctors, hide skin imperfections instantly. It has pink, mint, lavender, and yellow, which are all color correct different things. Okay, so to use, apply it liberally all over entire face with the included stubbly brush. After applying, buff vigorously to set the makeup for a flawless look. Okay, so feeling it right here. Feeling the compact, it feels really, really lightweight. Not in a good way lightweight, more like a cheap lightweight feeling. The mirror is pretty good. The mirror doesn't look, it's not bad. It's just a nice, just classic mirror. But the compact itself feels really, really light and kind of cheap. No offense. No offense. We have to prime our face. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Prep and Set Spray for primer. I fucking love this. This is seriously one of the best prep and set setting sprays. The fact that it comes out like a fine mist. Mm. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Benefits Professional for the porous areas, like on my cheeks and on my nose. I wanna give this powder a fair chance. I wanna do everything that I would have normally done if I was applying any foundation. We're gonna be fucking fair. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go in with this powder from Jerome Alexander. So we are going to apply this powder on the face. I have a lot of imperfections going on right now, which is my normal. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little buffy stubbly brush, which is one of those just, these are the kind of brushes that you find at like Rite Aid in those pack of like 20, and it's just like really, really, really cheaply made. It's that kind of brush. So just that's how I'm like prefacing for you, but it says to use it, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm just gonna dip in the powder Let's see how it looks. We're getting some powder off here. We're getting some powder, as you guys can see, right there. Powder. There's fallout on the tray, as you can see. So we have the powder on the little brush, and we're going to go and start buffing in to the cheeks and see what we have here. Oh my god, it's actually working. This powder also claims that it's a one color fits all and just kind of matches your skin magically. I feel like it's picking up on my dry patches right here. That's weird because I usually don't have any dry patches. So what the fuck? Jesus Christ. I'm like literally going in here like 20 fucking thousand times. Okay, using that brush, like I cannot. Like I physically cannot keep using that brush. I'm gonna use a good one. I'm gonna use a Morphe Y7 to really give this powder a fucking go, you know? Oh 
Okay, I do notice that the powder is definitely giving me an even skin tone, but what the fuck? I keep on my dry patch. Where did I even get dry patches from? That's not me. This is my entire face with the powder on. I definitely can tell a difference between not having the powder on and having the powder on. It definitely gives me a little bit of coverage and it makes my skin look more even for sure. But the claims were that I was gonna be able to cover and conceal like blemishes. I can still see the bruise right here, like hardcore. This gives you like maybe a sheer to medium coverage. It does, it's definitely not some like full ass coverage like it claims to be weird. But it does give me kind of a blurring effect, which I kind of like. Okay guys, so final verdict, I am done. I, this, the powder is on me. <sighs> so much excess powder. So guys, what do I think? I do definitely think that it evened out my skin tone. I think my skin looks pretty. I think it looks so fucking dry. It's because it's a powder. I can see it literally like balling up right here. It makes my skin definitely look drier than the Sahara Desert. It did its job when it comes to it gave me an even complexion. It really did. But I had to literally go in like 20 times to do it. I literally had to use like five layers to get it to this opacity. I'm like, dude, do you really like, just use fucking Studio Fix for one layer. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't seem super practical to me. It doesn't look terrible color wise compared to my neck or anything. I definitely don't think it'll match a darker complexion, but girl, honestly, I say save your fucking coin. I'm going to go and give this a miss for me. I don't think that it did what it was going to do. Like full fucking covering. How is it going to cover up birthmarks on my face? This? You can still see so much blue undertone in my, just my facial hair. Like honey. You can still see my redness popping out from my pimple. It's not. It's not what it fucking said. It's not magical. I'm sorry. But I don't approve of this. I say save your fucking money. Go grab Studio Fix from MAC. Or go grab like the pro powder from... Make it forever, cause those work so much better. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but that's just why I rain. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun doing it. I absolutely love doing little reviews. They're so fun for me, and I just think that they're fun to show you guys little random products I never would have thought of or never even thought to look for or try out. But because I have a YouTube channel, like that's kind of what I love to do is try out random ass shit. Let me know if you guys want me to try any other random ass things. Just leave me a comment. Leave me a comment on Twitter, anything you guys want to, and I will definitely, definitely buy it and review it and just try it out. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Zaya, get her little ass. Get her. Zaya, come here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be nice, but fuck. Why do I even try? Why do I even try? Oh my god, I remind me. Um, I just reminded myself of Van Helsing with the I want to live. <laughs> the fucking thing. Mm, Frankenstein? Yeah. Good moments. So apparently, it has unique built in color correctors, hide skin imperfect. <sighs> Did I graduate college? Honestly, it's a great question. Can't read. Shit. Gonyo. Ay, gonyo. This kind of brush, like, I don't like these kind of brushes. These are the kind of brushes that are like. Final verdict. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Have to fart. I will not because I do not fart in public. <coughs> I definitely do think that it worked when it comes to my eyes twitching.